Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back here at uh, Gettle Hyundai of Lakewood, Florida, and today I'm checking out this 2022 Hyundai Venue. Now, this is the limited model. Today, we're going to go on the tour of it. We're going to check it out from the exterior interior, pop the hood, see what powers up this thing, get inside of it, and at the end of this video, I'm going to take you for a spin in. So if you're ready, let's go. Well, so venue has added to Hyundai lineup back in 2019 and quickly became very popular. It also dethroned Kona as the smallest SUV in Hyundai lineup. And I guess they're both very similar but different at the same time and it appealed to different audiences. So let's take a look at the front of this particular one. Now this is the limited model so you can see it's got some appointments that you might not get at the base SE or the SEL ones. But you know it's got a fairly short hood right here it got those two distinct body lines on the side on here and it also has this stacked light design now these are daytime running lights right here along with the turn signals and over here you can see the nice light signature the nice led around the housing of this light and uh, the lights the headlights are actually inside of here it also has a very distinct grill uh, it does have the polished aluminum on the matte black which looks pretty cool lots of tech in this vehicle that's included we're going to talk about it in just a little bit but you can see this place right here that's where a lot of the technology for the safety feature hides now this particular one is the, the limited trim denim color so you can see some of the very unique design elements like you can see this white trim the first i looked at this vehicle i thought it was an unwrapped from the factory but that's actually white trim right at the bottom here in on the sides in here and th these are actually functional air inlets and then you can see the white roof on top as well as the white mirror so that adds definitely to the cuteness of this vehicle if you will now let's pop the hood let's see what powers up this thing so powering this 2022 venue is a 1.6 liter engine it produces 121 horsepower 113 pound feet of torque and it's made it to a cvt transmission nothing too crazy in this engine compartment it does have the prop stick but i guess that's what you get in this price range and we're going to talk about price in a little bit i like how they have this nice sound insulation that's going to make for a nice and quiet ride well guys so the venue is definitely has got the unique styling and it kind of reminds me of the old school asian um station wagons or hatchbacks kind of pumped up it looks pretty cute if you ask me now we've already mentioned about the white caps on the mirrors but you also have this white roof which fits really really well with this particular vehicle and if that wasn't enough they have some trim pieces you can see this white trim piece right here then there's one at the bottom kind of to accentuate it a little bit more now around the wheels you have the black cladding which you see as so many cars and that continues at the bottom of the door there's a little bit of indent in here and that's where this black cladding sits on this vehicle right here as far as the mirrors you do have a blind spot assist there's no turn signal indicator on the mirror but there is one on the car right here now talking about old school how many cars do that anymore that's pretty cool actually wheels this is a limited uh, edition so i mean you do have a 17 inch wheels 205 on the width 55 on the height on the tire and the rotors all four wheel disc brakes but the rotors are so tiny in comparing to some of the performance vehicles that are reviewed uh, but nevertheless the rotors are designed for this size of the vehicle so that's why they're smaller well what else do we have here you know as far as the doors i mean it does have the proximity entry system there's a button on the door handle you press it to lock it press it to unlock it you don't have to press any of the buttons on the key as long as the key is somewhere on you Roof rails are standard and the crossbars are added onto this vehicle. And uh, this is it, this is it for the side. Let's move on to the back. 
Well, the back of it looks pretty interesting too. You can see this uh, kind of built-in gate spoiler, not too big, but uh, big enough to house like this uh, window washer, we window washer. Wiper on the back here, Vanza spelled out big Hyundai logo. The lights are pretty cool. You can see these little triangles right here. They also serve as a turn signals. And of course you have the brake light and uh, built in here. Now the reverse lights are right here and around them, they incorporated the mandatory reflector lights. Nothing too crazy at the bottom of this bumper other than this piece of white trim that kind of goes with the roof and some of the side trim pieces as well. So a pretty decent design. Now this, uh, you know, can come off obviously once somebody buys it. Basically it says tailgate release button. So we're going to release it and open it up for you. And I got to tell you, you know what, I can fit right underneath here, which is pretty neat. All right, so you do have quite a bit of room in the back behind the second row seat uh, considering the size of this vehicle definitely beats the sedan especially if you do this check this out uh, you open this up obviously you have the spare tire and the tools to remove it but you can also have this portion right here moved down another few inches so you would gain that much of a floor space if you wanted to now they did it for two reasons like if you do fold the seats down and that uh, floor is below it it's not going to be even with the seats now the seats are 60 40 i'll show you how to fold them down uh, you release them up on top and you basically just drop them so see that makes it for an even floor with this right here um, and it adds up quite a bit of cargo room now of course there's a cargo cover here that is also removable so you can remove that and you're going to have all of this area open to put a lot more stuff in here so i'm um, really impressed by the amount of room that this little suv has and inside of the second row seat, there's plenty of room as well. Now, uh, the seat is adjusted about to where I normally would drive. And you can see both of them are even. And I still have enough room in front of my knees. What I also like that the seat is located quite high. So, uh, I mean, I have enough room down below to stretch my legs, even slide them underneath the seat. There's plenty of room there. Plenty of shoulder room, definitely plenty of headroom now if you do like to drive comfortably meaning probably all the way back in the front uh, you might not ob obviously have as much room in the back but look at this i'm six feet tall even if i move this seat another two inches it'll be barely touching my knees so check it out for yourself but uh, definitely that little suv packs a bunch of room in here and the interior is very interesting so let's check it out well, so the exterior of this vehicle is called denim and it also has a denim interior and look how cool it is normally it would be either gray or black now no not such a thing on the hyundai it is blue it is that denim color now it's all hard plastic and it's kind of one piece now it br it's broken up by this white contrast uh, armrest right here that kind of matches the exterior of this vehicle so as far as the aesthetics of this vehicle that looks pretty cool but the coolest part about it is the denim interior look at this it looks like a piece of clothing right and it's wrapped this is not leather but it's uh, this leather looking material on the uh, outside and the inside is this denim color and denim fabric basically and it also does have these trims that are white so definitely looks good and uh, matches the exterior of this vehicle now check this out in here the passenger seat does have a uh, netting in the back so you can put some stuff in the back of the seat and uh, that's is what i was telling you about the footwell is really deep and it doesn't really have a hump in the middle just a slight hump in the middle but still you know it, it is designed for three people in the back but the three people have to be be a smaller statue in order to fit in here what i would like to see is some vents uh, in the back here maybe some connectivity as well because it doesn't have the usb ports that you'll normally see in the back here you don't see any vents in there and you know i don't feel anything coming out of the bottom of the seat as well so that would be nice to see but let's check the quality of the vehicle by closing the door boom closes nice 
and uh, solid. And of course the front door is going to look just like the back door. So you have the two different colors. You have the denim, you have the white, and you have the window mirror controls right on the armrest right here. You also have a little room to put maybe a bottle or a cup. Uh, so storage at the bottom of the door and then you have two speakers. Now the stereo is not branded. I would imagine it's just a basic Hyundai stereo. As far as the seats, they're not power adjustable. They're manual, but they do have uh, some adjustments on it so that's pretty decent as well and the seats in the front just look like the back ones they're actually a little bit more profile so the bolsters are sticking out so hopefully they're holding you up in place on the turns hopefully you're not going to be racing it and then one other thing that we're going to check out before we jump in is this portion right here so you can have your dimmer uh, for the lights and the instrument cluster you also have your lane keep assist and you can turn off your traction control and that's it let's jump inside now we can explore this 2022 venue in detail on the interior. And like I mentioned before, it is a limited model. So it's top of the line. As you can see, it's got some tech in here. We're going to take a look at it, but we're going to start with the dashboard right here. Pretty cool trim. This is all hard plastic, but it's not boring. It's got this design right on it. Let me give you a little bit close up of it. And when you look on the side, you have the vents. Pretty cool vents kind of matching the headlights and the taillights on this vehicle. Yeah, little shelf right here that you can put your phone in here. Of course, a glove box right underneath here. Decent size for the size of the vehicle. A small screen, but you don't have the ability to get this larger screen, but it does have some tech. I already checked that out. And uh, looking at the steering wheel, leather wrapped, a leather looking material, wrapped steering wheel. This is still in that denim color and it does have the contrast stitching in white. So again, it matches the exterior of this vehicle, which is very nice. Steering wheel feels really nice to the touch. And you know, you do have a lot of buttons on here. We're gonna go through some of them. On the left hand side, you basically have the mode button, which is customizable as well as you have the volume button up and down. And this is for your phone. Uh, pick up and phone hang up as well as you have the voice control on the right hand side the button controls the cruise control and uh, you have the pages button which i believe control what's going on in the instrument cluster now being a limited model it does have a push start button i'm not sure if that's available as well on the base models but let's start it up and let's see what happens Okay, so traditional instrument cluster, you do have the tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right. You also have the temperature control on the left and the fuel gauge on the right. As you can see, we're low on fuel, but we still have nine miles in range. So that's plenty to get us a quick test drive. 74 degrees, so you have the temperature and the odometer right there. And then basically you have the same settings as you've seen on many other Hyundais and Kias on the middle instrument cluster. So you have some settings where you can uh, basically customize driver systems, door lights, convenience, etc. You can just scroll down in here and see service interval, languages, reset uh, to the factory settings. So if you ever get lost and think that you switch something off, just reset it to factory settings and play with it again. Hit it one more time, you go to the trip and then we can scroll down in here. You can see the different uh, trips on the screen and then you can actually set the uh, speedometer in the middle as a digital one so one more time and then back to the tire pressure you have to start driving for it to display it so this is it you know you have the on the exterior you have the mileage on the interior you have the kilometer so in case you ever wonder that's what this is for well let's move on to the instrument cluster or to the infotainment system i should say right here and as you can see this vehicle is equipped with navigation system so it is fully loaded one it is a touch screen it is on the smaller side but um you know if you look at the main menu right here you can see you got all of the features that you'll get in the big technology packages with some of the other Hyundais. So you have your map, navigation menu, phone, phone projection. It does have Android Auto. I'm curious. Yeah, well, this one is um, using an approved USB cable. Okay, so it is a smaller screen, but it is the software of the bigger screen. So it does have a wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's kind of a shame. I'm not sure why they do that. Voice memo, you know, uh, that basically enables you to record a voice memo for yourself retrieve it later valet mode what it does uh, subscription required so we're not gonna mess around with it hd radio data setup radio media sounds of nature see that's the tech of the higher trim level ones for sure so you have the different sounds of nature uh lively forest you have the list of them calm sea waves 
you know, rainy day, etc. Turn it up a little bit, let's see how the radio. Sounds, okay, well, it does have a pretty good sound. I mean, there's nothing too crazy about it. Uh, and uh, definitely substantial for, especially, you know, this being a entry level into the SUVs on Hyundai. So that's basically it. You know, the map is nice and very, uh, clear you know that's uh, very easy to read um, I like that map with Hyundai well, let's put it in reverse let's see how the rear view camera looks okay um, it is decent I've seen better let's put it this way so uh, I mean it does have the trajectory lines that move with the steering wheel and then you probably have just the sum of the brightness settings so we've seen that same exact camera system like on the Kia Soul base Kia Soul and some other Hyundai and Kia models it definitely could use a little bit of improvement if you can see all of this like the palm tree right here and then the curb and everything is kind of grainy with this day and age with the technology gets up and you get the 4k with your phone cameras um, i think that could be upgraded but i'm just being peaky on that so anyways well we move down let's put it back in park move down in here and you have your big volume knob right here for the radio and um, you do have your radio media, all the shortcut buttons. The start button right here, this you can customize. So when you press it, there you go, you're gonna have a few options. You can make a display, phone projections, blow link display on and off, or HD radio data, whichever one of those you prefer. There's another mode button on the steering wheel that we just looked at it, and the volume two knob, basically that's another one in here. So those are customizable. Volume, left and right, you can left volume and power right browse media map zoom in you can actually flip those around it's pretty strange swap swap back again i'm not sure why you would want to have the power button on this side that would be kind of counterintuitive but they make it available for you all right moving down below you have the hazard lights of course and then you have your climate control now the climate control is electronic which is nice and see the middle screen right there uh, displays the temperature and then you can change that and then you can turn it off front window defogger rear window defroster it's kind of cool looking setup right here i like it and at the bottom here you have the two usb ports and one uh, charging adapter i don't see a wireless charger in here so probably that's not available on this vehicle shifter regular shifter kind of looks like a stick shift from the top but it's not it is an automatic transmission so you can see you know all your gears in here and that uh, plus and minus sides indicates that you can put it in the sport mode or in the manual mode and you can shift it manually if you'd like to so drive modes as far as the drive modes you have three you have sport normal and snow and uh, this is a front wheel drive vehicle so it's not an all-wheel drive but um, i'm sure it's got to do something with the traction control maybe and uh, um, such things to enable the snow maybe a second gear start etc so you do have heated seats three stage heated seats on this one and then a regular parking brake cup holders and a little bit of storage in here and uh, this is it this is the interior of it if you look up on top there's no sunroof and all you have is your lights and basically your blue link and the regular light right here i don't even see like the home link system on here so you can't really program any of the garage door openers in here interior looks actually pretty interesting but i'm more curious of how it drives so let's go for a ride well guys three trim levels are available for this year's venue 2022 venue starts at $19,000 and that's the SE model SEL is at about $20,850 and this one right here which is the limited $22,250 with the three options that are added on this particular one is the roof rack crossbars which we've seen cargo tray and the cargo net with destination charge this particular vehicle as i sit in comes to a total msrp of 23,915. so if you're looking for a fully loaded venue under twenty-four thousand dollars, this is not a bad deal considering everything has just skyrocketed it's still covered by the same 10-year 100,000 miles powertrain warranty three years 36 
basically tech warranty and five years 60 limited vehicle warranty uh, so if you're looking for maybe your first vehicle something for your kid this is definitely something to consider but let's take that on the road before we do that let's see of how well it turns and how many parking spots does it take to tell this vehicle completely around I have this one right here move the steering wheel all the way to the left and let's start counting one two three oh it barely hits four so four is it is a small SUV it's a smaller vehicle so definitely not going to be a problem as far as moving and maneuvering in the city this is probably a perfect small SUV for the urban jungle not bad as far as the visibility you can see out the front windshield really nicely big windows on the side make it for a nice visibility as well and overall feel of this vehicle the seats are on the firm side but they are comfortable and this is good i remember working for honda years ago the seats were firm and people love that they say it's not gonna have a big effect on their backs etc so that's not a bad thing and uh, we're gonna see quickly a little bit of acceleration braking and cornering and see how this little suv handles on the road well as far as the drive guys the one thing that i can tell you i mean i'm on the pretty crappy road so that might be part of it but uh, i can definitely hear some tire noise that's coming inside of it when i looked at the front and the hood and the insulation was there i thought it was going to be a nice and quiet ride but uh, there might be some more insulation needed maybe around the wheel, wheel wells etc maybe underneath it because there's definitely some tire noise or road noise that you can hear coming into the cabin so it's not as well insulated as some of the higher end trims or some of the higher end Hyundai's maybe like a Tucson or Santa Fe and even Kona I didn't feel like that was the case with it we're gonna take a turn right here right so the bolstered seats they kind of keep you in place but the vehicle itself also doesn't have a lot of body roll I mean it feels pretty straight up steering wheel feels good to the touch I, I am surprised how much room I have in this vehicle like above my head there is an abundance of roominess in there so plenty of that there's no question about it and uh, we're gonna check out the acceleration but before we do that I'm gonna check out the braking and see if it dips and see how quickly it stops etc and we're gonna do that in just a bit like nobody behind us so let's do that boom okay so it does have a little bit of dip but not bad at all and then uh, nobody behind us so we're gonna be able to check out some of the acceleration okay stop hit it you can definitely hear that engine working but you know we got up to about 45 miles per hour relatively quickly you know just uh, make sure that if you are merging into traffic consider that what you're driving in and make sure that you have plenty of uh, room to merge in there other than that i think it's a perfect entry-level suv it packs really a lot of technology it packs a lot of features that you don't find necessarily in this price range so um, i'll definitely give this a thumbs up even though when i first looked at it that wasn't one of my favorite vehicles but uh, it kind of grew on me and uh, i think it's a great vehicle well guys thank you very much for watching i hope this was helpful and i hope i uh, helped you learn something new if i did you know check out the rest of my channel consider subscribing give me the thumbs up give me pumped up and until then i will see you in my next video cheers